All right, who's ready to cry and maybe laugh a little bit? In today's video, we're gonna explore the top five most iconic deaths in Spider-Man movies. Spoilers, obviously. And yeah, there have been a lot of deaths. What's up, my dude? Your friendly neighborhood Tony here, and before we get started, I want to clarify that the death scenes that we're going to be ranking today are what I consider to be the scenes that have had the most impact, both on the character of Spider-Man in the movies and on us as the audience. I like the way you die, boy. Also, we're only including scenes from theatrically released Spider-Man movies. So no TV shows and no spin-off movies like Morbius or Venom or even the Avengers movies. Spider-Man flicks only. Even though that scene from Infinity War with Tom Holland was brutal. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. If all that sounds good to you and you want to see more ranking videos just like this, make sure you subscribe. All right, kicking things off with number five. And this was a really difficult one to pick, but we're going to go back to the amazing Spider-Man with the death of Captain George Stacy. Now, as I mentioned, there are a ton of death scenes to pick for this list, but what really stood out to me the most about Captain Stacy's death is, well, that he went out like a total badass. But it's not just that. In this scene, Captain Stacy finally puts his faith in Peter Parker and really gives him a great sense of responsibility, not only to protect the city, but to protect those closest to him particularly Gwen Stacy. Leave Gwen out of it. And uh, yeah, that turned out just fine. Next up at number four is a scene that made anyone with a heart sob uncontrollably. From Spider-Man, No Way Home, the death of Aunt May. We thought we were safe. We thought, eh, it's been three movies. Everybody loves Marissa Tomei. They wouldn't do that to us, but they did. What a twist! After getting absolutely wrecked by the goblin's glider, this bad mamma jamma hopped right back up and tried to play it off. Knocked on my ass. Yeah, me too. That's all. And then the dread sets in. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I don't know if it was the fact that it was all just so unexpected or if it was the stellar acting by Marissa Tomei and Tom Holland in that scene. But this is without a doubt the most emotionally draining death scene in any Spider-Man movie, hands down. Well, that was depressing. What do you say with number three, we have a little fun. My personal favorite death scene in any Spider-Man movie, if you can have a favorite death, that's kind of dark. Oh well. At number three, we have a classic, going back to the OG 2002 Spider-Man with the death of Norman Osborn, AKA the Green Goblin. Godspeed, Spider-Man. <sighs> Putting aside the fact that this entire movie is iconic and that it opened up a world of possibility for those of us that grew up watching Spider-Man in cartoons or reading about him in comic books, Willem Dafoe absolutely crushes as the Green Goblin. He's just so delightfully wicked. And he also knows how to sprinkle in some campiness. <gasps> Oh. I mean, it doesn't get any more iconic than being literally the first villain in any Spider-Man movie. And you can't deny the solid gold memes that came out of his death. Don't tell Harry. <laughs> it's also pretty clear that Marvel feels the same way, being that they brought him back for a lead role in Spider-Man No Way Home. But I still think there are a couple more death scenes that are more iconic than even this. Before we get to my top two though, let me know your ranking in the comments below. Do you agree with my picks? Is there an obvious choice I missed? Whatever you think, post it down in the comments. Also, if you haven't seen my review of the latest Spider-Man movie, Across the Spider-Verse, I'll link it at the end of the video for you. A lot of people are pinning it as the best Spider-Man movie of all time, and I don't know if I agree with that necessarily, but if you want to know why, you'll have to check out the review. Okay, coming in at number two, we go back to The Amazing Spider-Man, Part two, probably the worst Spider-Man movie ever. And no, my pick is not the death of Andrew Garfield's hopes and dreams. That poor bastard. It's the death of Gwen Stacy. Now, if you're a fan of the comic book series at all, then you know that the death of Gwen Stacy is an absolutely iconic moment in the history of Spider-Man. And the way they portrayed that in this movie is both beautiful and horribly violent. Like, look at the way that the web stretches, almost reaches its tendrils out to get to Gwen Stacy, just to show the desperation in that moment. And then, boom. Ugh, just the sound of her head hitting the pavement makes me cringe to this day. And look, there's a death in every Spider-Man movie. Literally every single movie has at least one death scene. But the way this one hit when I saw it in theaters was like no other. Then of course there's Andrew Garfield and his wonderful performance and just the heart-wrenching pain that he portrays. 
I tell you what, this guy was robbed of an opportunity with these movies. Really, he is a magnificent actor, and I just wish he had gotten better movies to work with. But that's a topic for another day. Before I reveal my number one pick, though, here are a couple honorable mentions. First up, in what might be the best Spider-Man movie of all time, Spider-Man 2, the death of Otto Octavius, aka Doc Ock, as he sacrifices himself to save the city. I will not die, a monster. Then we can have a little bit more fun. From Spider-Man 3, one of the worst Spider-Man movies, we've got the new goblin getting stabbed by Venom and yeeted to his death. Ugh. And I also want to shout out Into the Spider-Verse for being the first Spider-Man movie in which Peter Parker himself dies. Even though we never really got to invest too much into this particular version of Peter Parker, so maybe it wasn't as impactful as it could have been. Still though, a big moment. All right, let's get to it. My number one pick, the most iconic death in any Spider-Man movie. And come on, there's really only one choice or two. That's right. The deaths of Uncle Ben, whether it's the OG movie with Tobey Maguire or the amazing remake with Andrew Garfield. Uncle Ben's death is the catalyst that sets off just about every Spider-Man story. Now, if we're picking between the two versions, uh, that's a tough one. I feel like the Ben from the Tobey Maguire universe got to stretch his muscles a little bit more with the scene. They give him the chance to really get across the weight and the emotion of it. <laughs> and you know, with Andrew's Ben, well, he kind of just dies. We didn't really get much from him after the shot. But if we're looking at the two Spider-Man's performances, well, hey, stay back, stay back. That's my uncle. Oh God! Oh my God! <gasps> Let's just say I know which one I'm picking. Shout out to Toby though for the meme face. And that's it. My picks for the top five most iconic deaths in any Spider-Man movie. From Captain Stacy to Aunt May to the Green Goblin to Gwen Stacy and Uncle Ben. These moments have shaped the Spider-Man mythos and tugged at our heartstrings. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll also link my review of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse right over here for you if you want to jump in there and check it out. And don't forget, with a great YouTube channel comes a great responsibility to like and subscribe. Mm, nah, nah, sorry, that was, I'll keep working on that one. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Be good.